What's up, bitches? I'm McStud. And I'm Mrs. McStud. I know we've been doing a lot of fucking malt liquor videos, and my YouTube might seem like a malt liquor fucking channel, because we're doing so many fucking other videos, but you know what? It's just been needed, and tonight's another needed night. So, happy malt liquor motherfucking Monday. Tomorrow is going to be a more much yes. needed so night. we're doing another video tomorrow, because <laughs> we got That's a insane. fucking shit day tomorrow. Literally a shit day. But and it's okay. the weather's getting cold. We've upped our, we don't know, We this is a rental house. And it seems to get cold in certain areas of the house, and it's fucking uh, really chilly outside, and the temperature's gonna be dropping to like record lows. So we got the heat turned up, so it's warm in this motherfucker, in case our heat cannot keep up with the uh, temperatures outside. Hopefully. Oh, I fucking hate cold weather. I want to hate getting up in the morning and starting a car. Last time we got like, I think the wind chill was like negative 20, negative 25, negative 30, right. several years ago. Yeah. I got stuck in my fucking car, snow on the ground, like, ram, 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 ram. You get to turn your car and the wheel, like, ram. It was even that way whenever he started it for me a few weeks ago. No, it hasn't been that but bad. But it was only like negative 11 or negative 12. It hasn't been as bad as it was several years back. Yeah. <sighs> it's not fun. Smoking on brakes is going to suck balls. There's no way in hell the car is going to warm up. No. We're going to have to take uh, some heavier jackets. Or something. Gloves. <laughs> I got love, blankets. I got a love glove. I got a blanket. A Jimmy cap. <laughs> but I hate cold temperatures. So it was supposed to start uh, raining around. It was like 40 degrees today. It was supposed to start raining around 1. It didn't start raining until I think my 2.30 break. So I'm, it was 4.30. I go out there. I meet her. She don't get out until later than I do. And it's, you know, sprinkling and shit. So she goes back in from smoking, and I go to the gas station, get us Red Bulls, whatever else we need. So I'm sitting there waiting, and it rains, starts raining hard. I'm like, okay, and I notice it quits because I'm just playing games on my phone. I look up, it's fucking snowing right after it's got done raining hard. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? So after she gets off work, which is like 6 o'clock, we went to Walmart, and it was fucking windy as shit. Like, I was walking out of Walmart after I got what we needed, and you see this mist just fucking blowing. My hands are getting cold holding the shit. And we go to a liquor store right next door to Walmart. And when I walked in, everything was fine. When I come out, I'm like, Phew. I'm like, oh, shit. Everything started to freeze <laughs> in the five minutes I'd been in the fucking liquor store. Like, <laughs> it's still freezing. Yeah, it's fucking nasty. Our front porch is like a layer of ice, but it's so windy right now, it's kind of evaporating. It's way better than it was earlier, by the way. That's good. Um, yeah, that's how fucking cold it is here. And, it's just and I can't walk on regular ground with a little ice. I always have to hold her. <laughs> when she walks, she, she's bad enough walking on regular dry ground, to be honest. How'd you uh, hurt your ankle the last time? Stepping off curb? <laughs> yes. And it wasn't like a surprise step off. She knew she was stepping off of it. I did. All I know is, and she fucking <laughs> and landed on the side of the car. car. I'm like, what happened? Are you okay? Because all you had to do is step off the curb and get to my car. My ankle, baby. I'm like, what'd you do? I don't know. <laughs> what the fuck? Her ankle hurt for like a week. It was swollen and shit by the time we got home. <laughs> in her defense, though, she's got weak, weak ankles. She has a bad go through her ankles when she's younger, but fuck. I'm like, That's it was dry. It was warm out. I was in shorts. Like, it was a sunny day. <laughs> Holy fuck. I don't know. Story. Well, people need to know. It makes you look like an idiot. You're not an idiot. You just, <laughs> your ankles, it could have been a rock. It could have been uneven. Your ankle, your poor little ankles fucking catch on everything. I know. I'm not real sure what that was. It's right to get out of bed in the morning without fucking falling through the glass window here. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I, I do. <laughs> like, I'm like, baby, you okay? What do you do? Oh my God. Fucking shards of glass. It's like, like it's a final destination fucking kill. Oh, malt liquor. Probably malt liquor, motherfuckers. Do that to me. What? Oh, That's yeah. probably going to happen. I don't want you to happen. <laughs> oh, Lord Jesus. Anyways, uh, it was a shitty Monday. It was a shitty Monday. That's going to be a shitty Tuesday. Actually, the Monday is getting shittier as the night goes on because it's getting closer to Tuesday, which is going to be a shitty day to begin with. So. It'll probably be shitty all the way up till Friday, to be honest here. 
the later it gets in the week, the shittier my job oh, gets, okay. the shittier schoolwork gets, the shittier everything and gets, and tomorrow, it's going to be cool on top of that. And tomorrow is just a fucking really irritating, irritating, confusing, Leslie's irritating goal day. tomorrow is to stay the fuck out of prison. Yes. And I don't look at an orange or stripes or whatever. And she's not bullshitting. And that's my goal. Oh. <laughs> and I'm not bullshitting. Hashtag goals. This whole thing is a confusing, goals. <laughs> confusing mess of shit. We don't understand. <laughs> That's okay. I mean, we do understand because where it's coming from, but it's just the goal for what's going to happen is not going to happen for. Because I can't. Can't happen. So it's just like a pain in our ass. We got to leave so, work. Yeah, it's like what we're wasting like one hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah. Tomorrow. Yeah. Because. We gotta leave to drive two hours. Yeah. To do something that's not gonna happen anyway. Fucking anyways. ridiculous. Fucking ridiculous. That's why we drink malt liquor. You guys fucking rock. Havana, I know you hate us. Or you, you don't hate us. You hate our videos. Seriously? Um, that was me. Cheers, Havana. Cheers, Mr. Rainier. Gut rot. I'm hungry. Big J. We got a home run pizza. Oh my god, that smells like ass. Thank god my nose is stuffy. Uh, shit soils. Oh, no it ain't. Oh. That's bad. Oh my god. So, we uh, made the cube steak last night. Amazingly, had corn, mashed potatoes. So, and we did two malt liquor videos, so I drank two 40s. Feeling pretty good before bed. I woke up and got to work. I was really gassy. And I go to the bathroom. It's really, like I walk in there, it's by myself. There, <laughs> like literally just fucking tornado siren of farts. And uh, I go to my first break. I'm like, oh, I'm gassy. So I get on a break. I get back into work. I'm like, oh, this reminds me of the time I shit myself at Walmart. <laughs> so I had to go straight to the bathroom. I shit. Li I shit literally everything out I ate. I ate meatloaf for a second time. Like girl. I mean, which is still good, but literally, the corn was still there that I consumed because corn does not digest <sighs> malt liquor. Oh, God. It makes me queasy. <clears throat> that's how I knew my bowels were evacuated. say that stuff. That's how I knew my bowels were queasy. That's how I knew my bowels were completely evacuated of what we ate, like, I ate last night. <clears throat> Fucking crazy. Fucking horrid. I had to. I couldn't get it all out at work because I, I hate shit at work, so I had to finish it off at home. It was still not as pleasant. Don't ever say that again. I might throw up for real. Well, I'm just saying. Corn's the only food that greases twice. I'm telling you, I might puke if Love you keep baby. it up. Love you, baby. No, you don't. Hey, there's a. You ever watch My Little Pony? Is this a trick question? I'm going to try to take your mind off of it. Care Bears? Yes. Love a lot bear? Love a lot. Love you on a bear? Maybe. It's a little hard one. I don't know. They got all kinds of bears. I can make something, Love a, I can make something up something. like suck a lot of cock bear and it could be a uh, care bear. Uh, uh, care Bears got a fucking cock with a mouth on it. Well, you know, it was controversial at one time. Care Bears? I thought it was Teletubbies. I think Care Bears was too. What the fuck was Care Bears? Fucking I cock? fucking don't understand oh my that God. shit. I think that everything it has is, something to do with the blue. Everything is controversial. We're watching Celebrity Big Brother tonight, and Kato Kalen fucking put up Tamar Braxton for a fucking eviction, and she fucking flipped the brick. He's like, I know you want to be home with your son. She turned it around to like a it race being thing. Being a black woman. And turned it into race, it's turned it into sexism. Yeah. Then she finally came to her senses and fucking talked to him and hugged it out. But this is fucking ridiculous. I'm like, everyone's offended over everything now. Yeah. Like, America needs to pull their fucking... You mean you took a shit in that toilet? I mean, I can't shower in there? What the fuck is wrong with you? That's only a bathroom. You're not supposed to shit in there. Oh, you're joking. <laughs> I was like, are you ranting at me on video? <laughs> 
I was so confused for a second. I'm like, holy shit. You're, you could tell. Like, you're flip, I thought you were flipping out no. on me. I'm like, oh my God, it's from all liquor video. And you're like talking about me shitting in the bathroom. Like, <laughs> I didn't know what to, Holy fuck. Controversial. Everything's offensive. Everything's offensive. <laughs> you can't tell people how you really feel as a person without them twisting your fucking words. And turning it into something bad to make you look like a whole person. Oh my god, that's sexist. Oh my god, that's homophobic. Oh my god, that's uh. You racist. should say I miss my kids. Yeah, that's I mean, I mean, like. You shouldn't say, sing. I can't imagine if I said I love to date black women. Oh my god, he hates white women. I'm white. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I have no problem with interracial dating at all. I think that's great. And, you know, uh, back in the day, that shit wasn't cool. And we're way past the fucking uh, segregation and separation of all that bullshit. But, I mean, I could, I, if I said it around the wrong person. But there's still fucking parents out there like, my son is not going to date a black woman. But I'm segregated at the casino. But at the same time, though, there's, there's black people's like, my daughter's not going to date a white man. Like, there's still that issue of fucking separation and fucking craziness that is just fucking nutty. It, it's not even, like, it, white and black, it's any race, really. I mean, you're not dating a Mexican. <laughs> okay, yeah. Donald Trump. <laughs> what race is your wife? I don't, know what, I, I don't know what the fuck she is. I mean, she, just she looks, she's foreign. I don't know what ethnicity she is. Seriously. I don't, but I mean, I mean it's, <laughs> it's one of those things. Like, it's so fucking ridiculous. Like, you can, like, it's 28, 2019, and you still, there's still issues with people. Businesses have to report that shit. And there's still people dating, or issues with dating other races. Like, it's I literally crazy. gotta ask people their race in my job. Yeah, and I hate that there's a uh, job applications when I applied for the store down there. It only gave me an option: am I Hispanic or non-Hispanic? Or non-Hispanic. That was the only question I had. Like, yeah, what does that matter? What the fuck yeah. does that matter on a fucking job? Like, it does. I mean, why? Well, because they have to have so many minor minors Minority? working. For the company, minorities, yeah. Oh. So they try to track it. I mean, so you might get discriminated against just because you're a majority. But, but there was only one minority listed. And I hate to say minority because I think everyone's equal. And But the fact that it only asks if I'm Hispanic or not Hispanic. I'm like, okay, so what does that mean on a job application? Are you white or are you not white? Are you black? Are you not black? That's fucking crazy <laughs> and ridiculous that we have to have job applications where you have to specify your fucking race because all jobs should be decided upon your qualifications regardless of race. And I know that's not held true because there's old school motherfuckers running companies and shit that don't want, you know, you know what I'm talking about? that don't want but I thought we were past that fucking time it's fucking crazy well sadly the federal government doesn't let us get past that time because exactly we have to report that exactly to how many of each race works for that company I mean that's actual audit yeah and she knows and we have to have so many of each race working within that company or we have to hire people that's of that race <laughs> Only. I mean, it, it's sad it's crazy and, and it's sad because there comes people that are unqualified applicants to get hired just simply because of race yep. and which I think is crazy too like I don't think there should be any discrimination in the hiring process but when you hire just to hire to keep your company looking good. Looking good. 
I mean, that's that's sad too. That it's come to that. That's. I, I Family mean, for Iraq. You know, I, I I agree. Everyone should be. It doesn't matter your race. I mean, race shouldn't be an issue. Oh, really Qualification should. I mean, huh? Boo. Okay. But I'm just saying, like, race shouldn't be an issue. It's just, like qualifications. <laughs> and depending on your demographic, you might not have qualifications for every race in your demographic. This is true. And you can't just fucking say, okay, this guy doesn't have you know, a high school diploma, <coughs> has no qualifications for the job, but we have to hire him because of his race. And I, I, I don't ever want to de- deny anyone a fucking job, but I mean, when it comes to like certain important things in life, like payroll, like security, yeah. <laughs> like stuff that everyone in, in, in this country relies on, you don't want someone that has no fucking idea what they're fucking doing, doing it. This is true. And I don't think race should fucking, like we had to hire him because we needed to meet our numbers. My my belly's cold, I hear that, it's proud. Oh. <laughs> it feels pretty warm to me. No, it's right there. It's right there. Oh, you don't let me feel your belly very often. I like it. Get off I me, like you it. fucking pervert. <laughs> you can't far as of me. You made me do two fucking 40s <laughs> last night. Sorry. And those 40s for D-Lag. I got my box, and we ain't bullshitting this time. I'm gonna, actually I'm getting you a variety pack, and I know where to get it. I have no idea what you're talking about, because you have not ran this through me, but I guess you should just do it. Well, tired of being a low life worth of piece of shit. You're not getting a bag. We got the strongest box, fucking known to man, ready to ship a shit. I've got all the packing stuff I want to put in the fucking- Please let him roll that home. Box. No, actually, do like I drank both your forties last night, but I replenished them. Or hold this, I drank them both last night because uh. it was a stressful night. I, however, have <laughs> them both right here, two king cobras. Uh. Those are cobras. Yeah. Um, but that's all I'm sending you. But I'm not gonna ask you for your address until it's there because it's been so long. Moniker. But you're getting something, definitely. Yeah. And it's been long enough and that's my failure as a fucking man in general. As long as you agree to that. I'm just joking. Cheers, motherfuckers. Happy Moniker Monday. Sucky Moniker Monday. Sucky Moniker Monday. It's gonna be Sucky Moniker Tuesday too. OMG. I'll probably be drunk before I even do this video tomorrow. Yeah. That's beside the point. That's I'll cool probably though. go for drinks on the way home. Yeah, well, we can do it too. <laughs> I'm about okay, well, we might need it because <laughs> it might be a shitty fucking it will be. crazy thing and it's irritating. But anyways, cheers, motherfuckers. We're the McStuds. We love you guys. Thanks for watching. My dick is soft. <laughs>